Well, hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here from The Curious Piano Teachers and delighted if you're going to come and join me because we're going to do a little bit of live stuff today. Now, I have decided for my quarter four planning for myself as a teacher, I'm going to make a really, really concerted effort that every single lesson has some uh, part of it that my students get to switch their ears on. We do some musicianship might be only a small bit but we get to do some musicianship and you'll know that for me musicianship is a really important part of helping our pianists be musicians at the piano and really sensitive so i thought over the next few weeks i'm going to share with you some of the some of the things i try so i've got a student this afternoon and she is learning or has learned that this is her job this week uh, the minuet in c by james hook this one i'm sure you'll know it very easy for her I hope and she will probably already have mastered it hands together but I'm going to push her a little bit further take her out of a comfort zone not too much but a little bit and we're going to have some fun because this is all part of what you need to do so this is an idea that you can use with your students this afternoon not with this piece choose your own piece choose a piece they're learning and see if you can apply it in the same way so what I'm going to ask her to do um, and you'll have gathered that's a minuet, so it's got three and a bar. I'm going to ask her to play the left hand, which you have to admit, they're never quite as solid, are they, with their left hands. Play the left hand and tap an ostinato at the same time. And it, I'm going to show her a rhythm card like this. And I'm going to ask her, first of all, to hear it in her head. And I might just double check that she is counting it exactly the right and she counts herself in and then she claps that. So hear it first in the head and she might say one, two and three, one, two and three. And I made a big thing last week with her about doing six really, counting in six because minuets feel in six. Um, or I might, she might decide she's gonna use rhythm language, which for her would be ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. If that goes well, then I'll swap, without stopping the piece, to this one, okay? So why don't you, back there in the big wide world, I'm going to play the piece, and if I can possibly manage to hold it very still, that would be good. And then at a certain point, I'm going to drop the front card, and you have to swap to the second rhythm, okay? Are you ready? So are you ready? I'm going to count you in, and you start your clapping telling me okay hopefully that kept going one two three one the piano but what I'm going to ask her to do is play the left hand and tap that rhythm at the same time so let's do it one more time hopefully you've memorized that one and that one and have, hopefully I have as well so let's see if I can tap the rhythm on the piano lid and this is what you need to get your students to do depends on their level of course but you know top of elementary into intermediates they should be able to do something like this one two three Ah, no, my brain can't work. Two and three. One, two, three. You go and give that a go because it's it's harder than you think it is. That was a harder rhythm than think about why. Anyhow, there you go. Simple, easy musicianship idea that gets the ear engaged and <gasps> wakes you up tremendously. And it's a lot of fun. Hope that's helpful. See you all next week with another idea. All right, bye for now.